Tonight, we continue to follow breaking news. This comes from Indiana University in Bloomington, where school officials now are confirming 20 students on campus have the mumps. Yeah, tonight at 5 o'clock, our own David McAnally is live there on the campus this evening with what's being done right now to control this outbreak. David. Andrea, IU Bloomington campus has continued to see mumps cases, even as students are uh, hustling now to try to get to their final classes and next week their final exams. The number of mumps cases on the IU Bloomington campus, kind of a moving target. Right before I came, I just learned of another case. Now 20 confirmed cases of the mumps among IU students since the first case, February 12th. IU says the cases are divided about evenly between students living in dorms and in houses. Of the first 19 cases before today, 16 of them have recovered and are back at classes. Three of the cases are still in isolation right now. Of those 19 cases, we have not had any major medical complications in any of them. Um, we do have some pending tests on patients that we suspect mumps. The university says two of the first 19 patients are international students, but the vast majority are from the U.S. For students infected with mumps, it's bad timing. This is the last week of classes, with finals week next week. The university, though, making provisions for students sidelined with mumps symptoms. We can accommodate them, work with the students and their faculty uh, to come up with a new end-of-year academic plan so that they can finish the semester. Uh, the university is not only working with students uh, to isolate them, uh, give them a private room in, in case they are positive for the mumps uh, to protect the other students, but they are also reaching out to other students. Let's say if you're in the same dorm hallway, they'll reach out to others in that hallway and let them know somebody near you may have the mumps, so be cautious, watch for these symptoms. We'll have more for you tonight at uh, 6 o'clock. Anne-Marie, back to you. All right, David, we'll check back. Thank you. Now, we want you to know that the MMR vaccine is what helps protect against the mumps and also measles and rubella. And right now, nationwide, the U.S. is just a few cases, a dozen of them shy of the worst year on record for measles. In fact, just last week alone, health officials confirmed 71 new cases. That brings the total to the year to 626. The worst year on record was back in 2010 when there were 667 cases. The CDC says measles have been confirmed now in 22 states across the country. They say receiving both of the recommended doses of MMR vaccine is 97% effective in presenting the measles. So there is the original shot, and then there also is the booster. You might want to check your health records. And now